Edge was apparently opposed to WWE Supernatural plans for Judgment Day. Tony Storm on WWE exit, they crushed my love for wrestling. Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz have been moved to the WWE NXT roster. Roxanne Perez wins NXT Women's Breakout Tournament. Hey there everyone, it's Denise Salcedo. You're watching the latest and I got a quick roundup of news for you here today. So let's get right to it. Edge was reportedly not in favor of the Judgment Day going a supernatural route. According to a report from Fightful Select, Edge being kicked out of the group on Raw may have been a result of his opposition to future plans. He is said to have been opposed to WWE wanting to add a supernatural element to the stable. The decision to have Edge removed from Judgment Day was then made on Monday afternoon before Raw that night. Plans had been in place for Finn Balor to turn heel and join the faction group before Hell in a Cell. But at that time, there were no plans for Edge to leave the group. Tony Storm has opened up about her departure from WWE. The 26-year-old appeared on the sessions with Renee Paquette and spoke about what led to her departure from the company. She said that everything changed for her when she was moved from NXT to the main roster, saying, quote, My main goal in wrestling was to be on Raw or SmackDown main roster WWE TV, and then I got there and figured it out pretty soon. I realized that this is just not going to work out. But also, I'm 26 and I want to have a really good time in this job. I want to have a really good career and I want to enjoy part of it and I just wasn't enjoying it for so long. I abruptly quit. I woke up that morning having no idea that I was going to quit. Tony Storm also said that the frequent talent releases in WWE contributed to her unhappiness in the company. She also added that she has no hard feelings towards the company. Storm also commented on what she was thinking on the day that she quit WWE, saying, quote, I had built up frustrations with the place for a very long time, like a lot of people do. This isn't going to work. I know what's going to happen here. I'm just going to be sent back to catering again. I'm not going to succeed here. I can just see it. I didn't feel that appreciated, and I just felt like they at times didn't have very much respect for me. I feel like over time, they just crushed my love for wrestling. It just wasn't even wrestling anymore. You're not even allowed to say wrestling. I thought my whole purpose in life was to go to WWE, but then over time, I realized it's just pro wrestling that I love. It's not a company that I love. Apollo Crews and Commander Aziz will be part of the NXT roster moving forward. According to a report from PW Insider, both wrestlers have been officially moved to the brand. Crews appeared on Tuesday's show from the WWE Performance Center and confronted NXT champion Braun Breaker. While Aziz did not accompany Crews in his segment with Braun Breaker, he has also been officially moved to the NXT roster. There is no word on if the two will continue to be aligned on the show or not. Roxanne Perez is the winner of this year's NXT Women's Breakout Tournament. Perez defeated Tiffany Stratton with her version of the Code Red called Pop Rocks to win the tournament. With the win, Perez now will receive a contract that will allow her to challenge for the NXT Women's Championship, which is currently held by Mandy Rose. Well, that's a wrap with the latest headlines in pro wrestling today. As always, make sure to give this video a like, subscribe to F4W Online, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.